Today on the channel, big figure check, possibly the biggest three and three, four Star Wars figure of all time from the Return of the Jedi of Font Mon. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021 and possibly beyond, and today we've got a special one. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been looking forward to this one since I got this eight months ago maybe. I've been wanting to unbox this one and the time is finally here, and we're talking about from the Return of the Jedi of Font Mon. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So a font mon uh, kind of sounds like Rastafarian, like it's supposed to be elephant mon, elephant man, a font mon. Get it? Kind of looks like an elephant a little bit with his trunk going on there. Uh, but a big, big figure. The biggest figure in the Star Wars 3 and 3 Force line, I think, in history. And this is a fan choice, fan vote winner, uh, fans choice figure number three. Thank you, fans. I wasn't collecting at the time, but I would have signed up for this all day long because you guys know I love big figures, and nothing gets bigger than this one. I've been, like I said, well anticipating to unbox this on the channel, and the time is now. And we're going to do it like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at a font mon in the package. Heavy figure, as you can imagine. Talk about getting all the value out of this guy. Look at that. Just awesome. And you guys know I love my Star Wars creatures, especially Jabba's Palace creatures. And we'll talk about that in the blurb on the back, hopefully. Glamour shot right there of him. Fan choice winner. Typical packaging we're used to. Figure inside. And then it says, what does it say? Jabba's head of security. He's the head of security. Don't bother this guy. He'll get you. On the back, we've got the tail of the tape, we got the blurb, we've got the blurb that's on everything, we got the Return of the Jedi up top, Star Wars logo, we got the cross cell, we've got the warnings, we've got 10 Jedi Master Points, should be like 50 with this figure, and then it talks about his stick there, you can pose it on him if you want to, hide it in him. There's a lot going on with this guy, I'm excited to open him up, let's see what it says about a Font Mon. Formerly a gun runner, and he doesn't seem like a guy that could run real fast, but yeah, okay. Formerly a gun runner, a font mon is cunning and ruthless adversary. A Shivian from Vinsoth. Ah, Vinsoth, not beautiful this time of year. Wouldn't recommend going there. I've heard so many bad things. Uh, he was saved by Jabba the Hutt and pledged his loyalty to the crime lord, eventually becoming Jabba's head of security. Heeding a warning from Luke Skywalker, he was one of the few to survive the destruction of Jabba's sail barge at the Pit of Carcoon. So he's a smart uh, effant mon. Love it. Part of Collection 2, figure number 45. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked prices on this guy in a while, but i got to assume he's pretty valuable in this collection. Uh, one and done Star Wars figure. I don't know if we'll ever see him ever again. Just a fabulous, fabulous looking figure. The heaviness of this one. Uh, we're never going to see another three and three fourths figure ever like this again. I just don't foresee it, especially at a regular price like this was back in the day. So a lot to like about this. He falls right off the package, as he should. See you later. Heavier the figure, easier they fall off, I've always found. Here we go. Big blister card here. See you later. Big bubble going on. And then we get down to it. In the plastic prison, he is heavy. He is big. He is a font mon. Looking only like he can look. Really looking like an elephant. Really. Really is. Oh, we're losing stuff. We're knocking stuff out. We've got some issues. There it is. See you later. Get out of here. What's going on here? Does this go together? So yeah, this goes together. So we'll look at this accessory first. He's got kind of this I don't know what this is. Almost looks like a rock or a piece of wood, and then you can put his uh, little blade into a very typical Jabba's Palace blade here that we saw on the uh, skiffs and everything else. But you could put this together to have a, a little bit bigger piece going on him, and then you can put it on the side of him as well if you really wanted to. But I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have him holding this. He's the head of security. He should have a weapon. He should be ready to go, ready to throw down at a moment's notice. But man, what a cool looking figure. Now, I'd be lying if I said there was a lot of articulation with this guy. He does have legs that move. His arms go up like Power of the Force style. His head does have a little bit of movement, but a lot of the articulation is limited by the big stuff. But man, just next level stuff. He even has a tail on him. He has a tail, 
going back under there. It's got the big robe going on. I love the hair that comes down, the brown hair detail. And then he's got a big snout, much like an elephant. It's almost like a hippo and an elephant hybrid is what he's got going on here. And then you got jaw articulation on this one. This is phenomenal. This could be the best three and three force figure of all time from Star Wars. Uh, just so much detail. It is a little bit of akin to a chest piece. You got wrist movements. The hands do move a little bit. Uh, but man, I just love things like this. You guys know I love these crazy alien creatures. I love big figures, of course. And this guy just touches me uh, where I want to be touched, like a young Rio. I uh, just love it. Going to have the mouth wide open on him. Good skin tone color. He's got a little bit blue on the body and the legs where it gets a little whiter and gray up on the head and face. Just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'm not shocked this won the fan vote. Why would it not win the fan vote? This is something everybody should have out there. I'm guessing he's going to be a little top heavy. Yeah, he is. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain, I think, getting him to figure out how to stand. But there you go. You bend that leg in a weird position. He can stand like that. But, man, I love this figure. Like I said, I've had this for like eight months, maybe even a year. And I've been waiting till we got into this segment of the Star Wars unboxings to get to him. And uh, He does not disappoint. He's everything I was hoping he would be. And like I said, a pretty pricey figure at this point. Very hard to get. But he comes up every once in a while. You can get him loose or on card. I had to get him on card to open up. It's just, just so much fun with this one. Just I knew it would be fun. He's going to take up a lot of shelf space in a 3 and 3 4 setup, but he will be in the Jabba's Palace hiding in there. I will also have another favorite of the Jabba's Palace guys we unboxed on the channel way back when uh, from the 30th anniversary collection. Old Hermi Odal, or Hear Me Yodel, however you want to say it, but another crazy, very Jim Henson Muppet S figure going on here. He looks like he would have been in Fraggle Rock or something. But two of Jabba's biggest guys uh, that protect Jabba the Hutt, uh, Herbie Yodel, Elephant, Elephant Mon. I always want to call him Elephant Mon, but Elephant Mon. Just two big figures in the Star Wars universe and the three and three force collections out there. Two must haves if you're collecting Jabba the Hutt's palace, Jabba's skiff guards, that kind of stuff going on. Just absolutely fabulous. Can't rave about this enough. Uh, a special video. That's why I didn't even do anybody with him. I said, Afontmon, he's going to carry this video on his own. People love a good Afontmon out there, myself included. So it did not disappoint and an absolute favorite of mine. Any thoughts from you guys out there? Did you have this figure? You seen this figure? Is it news to you? Any stories about Afontmon in Star Wars uh, comic books or other books? Some of you guys that watch these videos I know are really in deep to the Star Wars universe and books and comics and stuff. Do we ever see anything else out of this guy outside of his brief scenes in The Return of the Jedi, any more backstory, anything on him? Is there a Jedi version of a Font Mon people out there? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, SirPaul64. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for my boy, a Font Mon, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.